Hi, this is a review of the Festool C12 drill. This is a very nice, differently ergonomically designed drill than most of the T-handle style drills. Um, included in the C12 kit is the drill body itself, four chucks, one of which is the Centrotec Festool chuck, uh, two batteries, one shown on the drill here, and a spare, and the drill charger. We have a universal driver bit adapter, um, one drill bit, four millimeter, and an Allen wrench for adjusting several things on the drill. Um, the body of the drill is really nice. It's a very lightweight drill, especially with the smallest battery size, which I have, which is the 1.3 amp hour battery. <clears throat> the ergonomics are it's a D shape. Um, you can hold it in a standard pistol grip, or you can actually put a finger along the side here, giving you a different handle and using your uh, ring finger or middle finger to activate the trigger. The Festool drills are unique in that they have a drive shaft which is accessible and you can actually mount the drill bits and driver bits directly in there. So here I've put a drill bit directly into the drive shaft and here I've put a driver bit directly in the drive shaft. Another nice thing is that you have this magnetic storage area for a variety of the smaller uh, driver bits. Uh, you can fit about six in here and you can put whatever you like whether it be Torx, straight slot, Robertson square bits, or Phillips screwdriver bits, you can just have whatever you need on hand for any given job. The <clears throat> universal adapter for the driver bits can go in here directly in the drive shaft, or what's usually done is you put it into the Centrotec adapter, like so, using this green spring-loaded thing to allow it in, and then you mount it onto the drive shaft of the drill, giving you a really nice, solid interface. The Centrotec Chuck adapter is interesting and unique in that the main part of it, the forward part of the body, is actually round and does not allow a standard hex shank uh, adapter or drill bit, driver bit rather, to go in there. Um, the Festool Centrotec bits actually are rounded off slightly on the hex shank, which is what allows them to get inside of that round area. This gives it a really tight, snug guide, which eliminates run out of your Centrotec drivers and drill bits. Again, the hex drives will not go into the center tech chuck. They will, however, go directly into the drive shaft. So you can use uh, any type of hex drive that you have. Um, here I have just a relatively inexpensive universal adapter from uh, another vendor, which allows me to put those same driver bits in there. I can use it here, or I can just simply put them into the drive shaft itself, which is a lot more space efficient if you're in tight quarters. So this is a very short space compared to most drills. Again, the Centrotec adapter is attached by pulling this spring-loaded ring down. You slide it on there, and there you go. This kit also comes with the offset adapter, which gives you the ability to uh, put the drill up close quarters to any kind of surface and uh, drill or drive very close to there, basically along the top or the side of the drill. This can be done at the 12 o'clock position, you can also simply take it and put it over here. And this is at the 3 o'clock position. There's actually about 16 or so positions that you can put it at. Uh, you can see these teeth here match up with the teeth on the uh, driver's drive shaft here. There's also a Jacob's chuck, which attaches very simply. There's a spring-loaded ring here. You just find the drive shaft in there and attach it. And this allows you to use any type of drill bit you can think of. Uh, you simply chuck it in there, just like any drill bit on the market. And again, that spring-loaded ring is pulled to detach it. Here we have the right angle adapter. This is pretty unique with Festool's drill in that it gives you a regular run-of-the-mill drill with right angle capabilities. So, I use a driver bit here. You can actually drive something where you have to be very up close and you don't have a lot of space. Um, the right angle adapter allows you to do that and it allows you to do it at a multitude of angles if you need for some reason to be Sideways, for example, if you're mounting in a drawer area or something, it gives you the amount of clearance you need uh, to get inside of there. <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick demo with uh, the Jacobs chuck on here and just using you know, some random driver bit that I've got here. I just chuck that up. <clears throat> I have the clutch turned down, that's why you heard that scratching noise. And what I have here is just a standard, you know, use it for anything drill with a Phillips bit. Um, I can also chuck in. Some of the Festool drill bits, even though they have a Centrotec shank, which would work great with the Centrotec chuck, you can put them inside the Jacobs chuck and, and use it uh, just like any regular drill. I'm going to do a quick demo 
with a big chunk of oak that I have here. Mess. And there you go. Just peels right through. This is a four millimeter bit. Just cruises right through that red oak. And here I'm going to chuck up, uh, I think it's a 17, 16 inch bit. Again, just choose right through it. Jacob's chuck is handy if you just have a lot of various drill bits laying around from a lot of other sets. Uh, most people do. But if you go and you use the Centrotech set, um, you can actually gain a little bit of an advantage in terms of the speed with which you chuck these and also the uh, quality of the cuts where you're going to get no run out whatsoever. And that just allows you a little more flexibility when using the Festool system. Well, there's a couple of holes that I've thrown in there. Um, works great as a drill. There's actually a setting on the clutch selector here. All the way to the right hand side it is in drill mode. And then there are actually 20 clutch settings to allow you to stop your, your depth driver uh, at many points. I'm going to drill a series of countersunk holes and then come back to that clutch setting in just a few seconds. So what I'm using here is the Festool countersink bit. This is not included with the drill, but this is a very nice, worthwhile add-on if you ever need to do a lot of countersinking. So I've just drilled those six holes, pop off the countersink bit, and I'm now going to put on my uh, universal adapter and a square drive bit in there. Got a series of two inch screws here. I'm going to set my clutch at uh, setting at five. And we'll see what happens. Different hole. All the way in. So these holes that I pre-drilled are, are large enough for this size of screw. And that one is not. So this stopped on a setting of one. That's how deep the screw went. So now I'm going to set this to a five. And it took it all the way in. So you can see that there's quite a bit of variability just simply between one and five. I'll now set this to 2, and it stopped at about that far. So the uh, clutch setting is very precise in terms of how deep you want to drive it. I will now up that clutch setting to a 5, and it's going to stop me there. Up it to a 10, and it takes it all the way in. So you get a little bit of a efficiency when you're driving in one swell shot, but uh, you can see that the clutch setting allows you to vary the depth to which a screw goes. Um, if you keep this on the drill setting, it'll always use maximum strength, and I can drive that guy home and even below the surface. Overall, the C12 is a very nice drill to use. It's very lightweight, again, with the smallest battery, but I hear that it's also still lightweight with the larger batteries. It's very easy to use with the Centro Tech chuck system in place. Uh, if you don't want to invest in a lot of the Festool bits, again, you get the Jacobs chuck to go along with that, and that just simply adapts to any drill bit or driver on the market. You can use that with just about anything. If you want to use a lot of driver bits, you don't even have to have a chuck. You can just put it directly in the drive shaft and it works just fine that way. And again, you get very, very tight clearances. Uh, C12 is a very nice drill. Um, a good lineup to the Festool, or a good addition to the Festool lineup. Um, the only Festool which doesn't have any kind of dust collection, unfortunately. So you can see that we made a bit of a mess here, but uh, who does with the drill? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review.